story time about how I was the side chick. So it was my freshman year and I had just moved to a new school. And I live next to this senior boy. You know, the one that thinks you're good enough to do stuff with but not good enough to date? Yeah, that one. Well, we both were on the same bus and I thought he was really cute so I asked him for his Snapchat. And I got it. So we started talking a lot and we would always talk about me sneaking over his house because my parents were super strict. So homecoming night, I saw him grinding with this girl, but I didn't exactly think anything of it because literally everybody was just being passed around. Well, I went home after and at like 2 in the morning, I got a text from him saying to come over. So I went over there, we did the dirty, and then I started to go over there almost every other night at 2 in the morning. And there was this one girl that I got really close with. And I told her all about the situation, but I didn't tell her till like three months after it was happening because he told me not to tell anybody, of course. And she goes, you know he has a girlfriend, right? So I felt really bad and confronted him like for part So about one and a half miles from the parking lot where they found the Garish family's car, their deceased bodies were finally discovered. There were no signs of trauma to the head, to the body, no bites, no puncture sites, no burns. And when sent off to get an autopsy, their results were inconclusive. Authorities say they have not one clue what happened to them. We are currently waiting on a toxicology report, and I might wait to post this until we have that, which will hopefully help identify what happened to this family. But there are just so many weird things to be talked about with this case. One TikToker that I found was talking about the way that they were positioned. John was found in a sitting up position next to his baby and next to his dog, while Ellen was just a little bit up the hill. While some people have speculated that maybe she was leaving to go get help, their only cell phone was in John's pocket, so she probably would have grabbed the phone first, right? Part two of me being the side chick. So that night he had asked me to come over again and I went over there, but it's not what you think it was for. I got over there and I was like, when were you going to tell me you had a girlfriend? Literally this comment made me want to throw up. He goes, what do you mean? I thought you knew. So I was like, no, I actually didn't. And he goes, so does that mean you don't want to come over anymore? He goes, I really liked you and I was going to break up with my girlfriend for you. Which I know this is so bad, but that made me happy because I had the biggest crush on him. But then I just left. And the girl that he was dating was a senior. And I asked my friend for her Snapchat so I could Snapchat her. So I did and I told her everything that was going on. And somehow it got flipped around on me. Her saying that I was obsessed with her boyfriend. And then she got the nudes that I sent her boyfriend. And sent them around the whole school. My new school. Moral of the story, if he says he's single, make sure he's actually single. Guys, I was blocked for a week. I missed you all so, so, so much. A lot of new products. Leave requests, please. Story time about how I slept with a ghost that haunted my house. And no, I'm not crazy. Okay, so boom. I live in a haunted house with my parents and my little brother. I'm 16 and we've been dealing with this haunting for the past 8 years. My parents tried to move houses but they followed us and continued to haunt my family. I would wake up to doors being wide open, things around the house being moved, and my mom even said one of these ghosts pushed her while she was opening the fridge. My little brother is so scared he sleeps with my parents every night. Let's just say lots of crazy weird things was happening. Well, one night, one of these ghosts got in my bed. I woke up and felt a presence right next to me. That presence was all up in my grill. Then it disappeared. This started happening every night, and I kind of started expecting it. Well, one night, something changed, and the ghost had different plans. Like for part two. Story time about how I slept with a ghost that haunted my house. And no, I'm not crazy. Okay, so boom. I live in a haunted house with my parents and my little brother. I'm 16 and we've been dealing with this haunting for the past 8 years. My parents tried to move houses but they followed us and continued to haunt my family. I would wake up to doors being wide open, things around the house being moved, and my mom even said one of these ghosts pushed her while she was opening the fridge. My little brother is so scared he sleeps with my parents every night. Let's just say lots of crazy weird things was happening. Well, one night, one of these ghosts got in my bed. I woke up and felt a presence right next to me. That presence was all up in my grill. Then it disappeared. This started happening every night, and I kind of started expecting it. Well, one night, something changed, and the ghost had different plans. Like for part two.
too about how my gym teacher's wife found out that he was having an affair with me. So like I said, his wife was supposed to be gone the whole night because she was at the bar with her friends and they were supposed to get in a hotel. So he invited me over. So we went swimming in his pool, then we did the nasty. Well, a few hours later, him and I were sitting on the couch watching a movie and his wife kept calling him. But he just kept ignoring it, saying that she was fine and he didn't want to answer the call and ruin our time together.